we just want to thank you this afternoon. We are gathered yet here in the presence of the Lord. Lord, we don't come empty-handed, for we have read the Bible about the three wise men from the east. They came to worship you. They had heard that you were born. They came with uh, certain gifts that were manifesting their revelation about you. Some came with gold, some came with frankincense, some came with ma. Mighty God, tonight we've come into the house of the Lord with different gifts. Some have offered you, are uh, offered to you through singing, through worship. Others have put in silver and gold, they've put in money. Lord Jesus, we are just coming to say we appreciate you. Lord God, may you receive our offerings. Lord, even those without money, Lord Jesus, may they offer even their bodies as a living sacrifice. Only a body that can only be used by the Holy Ghost, a mouth that can only be used by the Holy Ghost. Mighty God, we are so much under expectation. Lord, your word says that you bless everyone that gives a good measure, shaken down, put together, Lord Jesus. May you bless those that have contributed. Father, we enjoy the meals in the afternoon. We know that, oh God, it's the sacrifices of the believers that have put money aside, eternal Father, that we might have a wonderful worship. Lord, we pray that you bless. You see even the things that men cannot see. May you bless accordingly, Lord Jesus. As we went away for your uh, coming down again, Lord Jesus, we pray, oh God, may you bless us once more in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And the church shall say amen.
of thy brethren, of thy brethren. Like, unto me. like unto me. Unto him he shall hearken. According to all, all that thou desirest of the Lord thy God in order in the day of the assembly. Saying, Let me not hear again the voice of the Lord my God. Neither let me see this great fire anymore. That I die not. And the Lord has said unto me, they have well spoken that which they have spoken. I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren. Like unto thee. And will put my words in his mouth. And he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. John 14, verse 19. John 14, verse 19. Before I allow you to sit down. Is it found? Yet a little while. And the world seeth me no more. And the world seeth me no more. But ye see me. But ye see me. Because I live. Because I live. Ye shall live also. Ye shall live also. At that day. At that day. You shall know that I am in my Father. You shall know that I am in my Father. And ye in me. And ye in me. And I in you. And I in you. Amen. Let's bow our heads. Gracious Heavenly Father, we are reporting for duty this afternoon. You have been gracious in the first service. We believe that you will glorify your name once again. Be gracious, hide me under the blood as I report for duty. Be gracious, use my vocal cords. Strain as they are, I know you will make use of them, Amen. that your name may be glorified. Amen. We commit every brother, every sister here, we commit every need in the building. May you minister to their needs, because when you do so, we have testimonies Amen. where we are able to tell the world there is a God that is alive Amen. that we can express our gratitude to. We commit the reading of the way to you. Circumcise my lips. Circumcise their ears. Dear God, as I commit everything to you. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. amen. God bless you richly as you take your seats. Amen. <coughs> Kiss me, amen. Let's carry on. I want to speak... I'm going to be quite unchained this morning. If the voice runs out, let it run out. Amen. 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 I want to speak on a subject very simple, our Moses. Our Moses. They had their Moses. We have our Moses. They had their exodus, we have our exodus. They had their pillar of fire, we have our pillar of fire. They had the cloud, we have the cloud. And they had their Pharaoh, we have our Pharaoh. They had our, their Moses, we have our Moses. How many agree with that? Now, we are going to talk this afternoon. Now, in the message, The Unveiling of God, paragraph 22, The Unveiling of God, uh, 
Brother Brenham says when he introduces the subject, he says, now my subject this morning, I trust that God will reveal this. And I do trust him in this afternoon. Amen. And each time, if you take the tapes and listen, I hope and trust that you have had a spiritual understanding of what that God has been trying to get over to the church without saying it right out. There's something that the God is trying to get out to the church without saying it explicitly. Are you still with me? Say, so see, it's a thing. Sometimes we have to say things in such a way that it might thin down. It might bring some to go out, some to leave, and some to ponder over. But it's done purposely. It must be done that way. There is a time when we say things to thin things down. Certain things are said to drive some out, some to leave, some to ponder, is done purposely. And those that go, they will have reasons why they go. And those that remain will have reasons why they remain. And everything is done purposefully. It is not by default, it is by design. Are you with me? Amen. And that is why, as I'm going to speak on our message, our Moses, this subject on its own, it may thin down, but it is done purposefully. Amen. There are certain things that we are going to say. Then, Brother Lord said, God was trying to say certain things out to the church without saying them right out. But because we are about to go, we will say them directly. Amen. Amen. Uh, I feel pity for Pentecostal message believers. Amen. Amen. Those that just think William Brennan was just a good minister, an American missionary, they're going to be uh, uh, shocked out of their skin. And it will be done purposefully. Yes. Brother says, then it might be that some would say, you mean God would purposefully do, purposely do a thing like that? He certainly did, and he does it yet. Yes. He said one day when he had thousands around him, he said, except you eat of the flesh of the Son of God or Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Brother Brother say, imagine the academics of the time. The learned of the time trying to de de uh, to decode this statement and say, what is he going to turn us into? It was done purposefully to thin things down. Are you still with me? And that is why we are going to speak this afternoon. Now, in Christ is the mystery of God revealed, paragraph 449. Brother Brother says, Jesus said at that day, that's this day. Amen. That day that was spoken is this day. Amen. At that day, when this revelation is made known, you will know that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, and I in you, and you in me. When the revelation is made manifest, at that day ye shall know that I and the Father are one. I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. Then when the revelation comes forth, then it's I in you. Amen. You in me, there you are. He says, see, it is meant for three men. What for? To bring it back. We've got to, as Jesus was the word of God, he vindicated the same. Brother Brennan simply said, we have had a dispensation of 
At that day you shall know that I am in the Father. We have had, I am in the Father dispensation. And there's been a dispensation of the Father in me. And now we are in the final lap of the I in you. Are you still with me? The I in you dispensation. The I in you season. It is not you, it is him in you. Now, just to bring a balance of what we spoke about this morning, God's gifts always find their places. Paragraph 93. He says, and notice, and after then the wise men identifying him what he would be and find it through the scripture that's exactly what he was. Deity in service for death. What for? Deity in service to God for death. Jesus was deity in service for death to redeem the world. Amen. But what did the world do to it? They refused it. They rejected it. Why? Some of them, a big part of them, did that because this. Because he did die. They said he couldn't be deity and die. This is what's confusing even Muslims. Yeah. How could you say he was deity, but he died? How could you say he was deity, but he was born? Now the prophet said, the man, in the bracket he says, the body, was not a deity. But deity was in the body. Deity cannot die. But the body that contained the deity could die. Deity could not be born. But the body that contained the deity could be born. Now, a believer has to find a distinction between the deity and the body Amen. that contains the deity. Amen. But it's a danger. You can never accept the deity without accepting the body yes. that the deity yes. is into. Yes. If you reject the body that embodies the deity, you have rejected the deity. Yes. Are you still with me? Yes. William Brenham was 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 a body. Yes, sir, yeah. But the deity was in the body. Yes. Moses was the body. Yes. But the deity yes. was in the body. Yes. If you rejected the body Moses, yes. you would have rejected the yes. deity yes. that embodied that body. Yes. Jesus was the body. But the deity was in the body. And if you rejected the body, you would have rejected the deity. William Brenham is the body, but the deity was in the body. If you rejected the body, you rejected the deity. Because the deity was in the body. It was not the deity, it was not the body that created the squirrels. But it was the deity in the body that created the spirit. It was not the body that brought the messages. It was the deity in the body that brought the messages. It was not the voice of William Brennan, but it was the deity using the voice of the body to bring the message. And when you reject the body, you reject the deity. Because the body was the vehicle to bring the deity to the people. Amen. Yeah. Are, are you still with me? Yeah. Now, in the message, the absolute, trying to build the foundation here. Paragraph 263. He says, the fire the pillar of fire. The fire was in Moses. Because whatever Moses said, it was in Moses. It was God speaking. And he performed his sign because the pillar of fire left the bush 
and come on Moses. So whatever, whatever Moses spoke, it wasn't Moses, it was God speaking. If it applied to then, then it applies now. Paragraph 182, the unveiling of God. Paragraph 182. He says, Moses was the veil, the living word of God veiled behind human flesh. The pillar of fire was in Moses. Of course, speaking what is to be built later behind skins. Are you still with me? Yes. The pillar of fire was in Moses speaking what was to be built later behind the Persian skins. But this afternoon, it was speaking about what is to be built later behind the skins. Yes. Are you still with me? Yes. Do you believe the pillar of fire is veiled within us? Yes. Brother Bram say when we come like this, a brother brings a portion of a pillar of fire. Yes. A sister brings a portion of a pillar of fire. Then when we gather around the, like this, it becomes the great pillar of fire. Yes. Are you still with me? Yes. Do you hear Moses? The pillar of fire was in Moses. And whatever Moses spoke, Moses was the living weight veiled behind human flesh. Now, in the message, the unveiling of God, paragraph 362, he says, this visible pillar of fire, this visible pillar of fire that scientifically proven many years ago, as a little boy spoke to me out there and told me I would live right here and what would take place telling you about it and then one day down on the river before the ministry started first revival he appeared in the skies identified himself and gave the commission all these years all these years i have hid it in my heart veiling christ same pillar of fire interpreting the word as promised. He says the, the pillar of fire moved from the bush and came onto Moses and was veiled behind Moses. And he says all these years, all these years, the pillar of fire was veiled behind me. Are you still with me? Do you get the sequence here? Right. William Brennan was a counterpart of Moses. We are, it's just half of the church that believes that. Moses and William Brennan are on the same rank. Are we going to go on a certain altitude? We are not a real eagle. Some wings are going to be broken. When the Israelites said, this is our Moses, we can say, yes. Your Moses said, the Lord God shall raise a prophet like unto me. Yes. yes somebody sitting there say, yes, it referred to Jesus. Yes, but I'm not living during the time of that exodus. I'm in another exodus. Mo Jesus was the Moses of his day. And Moses was the Moses of his day. And today we have the Moses of our day. Are you still with me? You cannot. Sing it, brother. It is, it is foolishness to, to use one counterpart 
she will approve another counterpart. You can't use equals to approve one another. There has to be somebody above that one to approve them. Are you still with me? Some people already see where I'm going. In the message, God identified by his characteristics. Praise the Lord. He says, watch the characteristics of God. Picked up a handful of dust. This is Moses. Threw it into the air. And he turned into fleas. Now there is a man that picked up the stone and threw it into the air and said, Judgment will strike me. The way it comes. Are you still with me? Moses spoke the frogs into existence. And there is a Moses of today that was on a hunting tree. And he was thinking he was there and a voice spoke to him and said, you, what do you need? And he said, I thought I was dreaming. But the voice spoke clearly again within me and said, what do you need? What was it that was speaking within him? The pillar of fire that I built all of these years. The DAT within the body. What do you need? Then he stood there, a Kentuckian prophet, and said, I need three squirrels. How do you want them to come? And he stood there and began to think. Because now Genesis chapter 1 was being reacted. And he stood in there and said, I need a squirrel. And he said, let there be a squirrel over there. Let it move from there to over there. And from the mouth of a man born by Charles and Ella Brennan, a squirrel materialized. And he said, I shot the squirrel. I thought it was a vision. I went to pick it up, I found that it was bleeding. Yes. The weight became a reality. Yes. What was spoken can now bleed and became tangible. Yes. What, what, what was this man? This man is not a product of a seminary. This man is the Moses of today. This man is demonstrating the powers that are required for an exodus. Because during an exodus, you need a prophet with creative power. A prophet that can speak and things can materialize. Are you still with me? Then he, he picked up the squirrel. He was ready to go. The voice nudged him again and said, you said how many? Then he looked around and said, as a hunter, I knew a spirit was allergic to the sacramental tree. Now William Brennan is enjoying to be a, 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 a hallelujah, a, a small creator. He said, now I, I need to bring the spirit where nothing can come. I need to speak the spirit into an environment that is humanly impossible for the spirit to come. Then he said, let there be a squirrel on a sycamore tree. And there was a squirrel on a sycamore tree. What, what was happening here? This is our Moses. Speaking and things coming to pass. Are you still with me? He says in the very same message, the creator characteristics of God was in Moses. Moses had the characteristics of the creator. Are, are you still with me? He yes. said the creator characteristics of Moses of God was in Moses. Amen. The message, the token. Paragraph 89. Thank you, Lord. He says Israel coming out 
just as a sign like it is today. Yeah. Watch what Israel yeah. got in their exodus. And what Israel got, we have to get exactly the same thing. Yeah. Uh, are you still with me? Yeah. The first thing they got to thoroughly identify that the hour was at, end, at hand was a prophet with the message. Right. Moses came with the message. The word of God was with Moses. The next thing, Moses had to be identified. Right. He was identified by a pillar of fire yes. that identified his way yeah. that God had sent him. Right. Moses had the word of God even to create things and to bring them upon the earth. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. William Branham had the power. Yes. Hallelujah. You remember, the, you remember the man that lost his police? Yes. Oscar. Oscar. Yes. And went to William Branham and said, I've lost my police. Yes. And, God, and the William Branham said to Oscar, God will give you other ponies. Yes. Oscar said, I don't need other ponies. He said, you said, God is a restorer. I, are you now doubting that? Then William Branham said to Oscar, receive your ponies. And Oscar received his ponies. Where did the ponies come from? The way that was spoken by a prophet Amen. materialized. Yes. Because this prophet must have the characteristics of the creator. Yes. Are you still with me? Amen. Now, unveiling of God, paragraph 170. Notice. The people had seen something that had happened. Moses had been veiled. He was a prophet. And God had vindicated his weight now. Went down there and seen signs and wonders. And then all right, his people got separated unto themselves a church. See, church means called out. See, after they were called out of the well and became a people. See, then God let himself to be known that he was the pillar of fire and proved Moses' message he was the pillar of fire. They might have taken the picture of it, I guess, if they have had cameras, because it was all fire. Yeah. If they did not have the camera there, we have a camera now. Yes. If they could not capture it on my own camera, we have captured it on camera. But that is the same pillar of fire. Are you still with me? He was the pillar of fire. They might have taken the picture of it, I guess, if they had had camera. Because it was all on fire. They proved it that. God proving that the message was right. Message was at hand, everything was. They were going to be exodized then. Veiled his prophet to this exodus people. If he was veiled, even today he's veiled. Right. Are you still with me? Yeah. Now, if you are a student of the scripture, you would know Dathan and Korah never rose up in Egypt. Yeah. As long as there was Pharaoh, Dathan and Korah were nowhere to be found. But when they saw Pharaoh being defeated and demolished, then they rose and said, we as well have a ministry. Let's put it this way. All the eight messengers that are rising in the message ranks, where were they when we were in our old denomination? When we were eating communion during the day, where was your eight messengers? When they ate because of the 
denominational theology mm. divorced three times. Where was the eighth messenger? Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. When we were trapped in denominations, yeah. where were the eight messengers? Yes. They only came after we came out. Yes. Then they began to say, it is not only him that can preach. Yes. We as well can preach. Yes. Are you still with me? Yes, but without the ministry of Moses, Tathan and Korah, their ministries were irrelevant. Their ministry depended on misinterpreting the ministry of Moses. No aid messenger will stand on his own. No aid messenger will convert a person from the world. They have to find already somebody that is in the camp and convert him from the messenger to themselves. Yeah. But I say, when you were in Egypt, where were they? Yeah. If they were irrelevant then, they are irrelevant now. Yeah. And if Moses was relevant in Egypt, Moses is relevant in the wilderness, Moses is relevant even after Jordan. Yeah. Are you still with me? Getting somewhere. The unveiling of God. Paragraph 131. He says, Moses had the weight. How many believe William Brenham had the weight? Now remember, after the weight was made manifest, Moses was Moses again. But while that weight was in Moses to be given out, when the weight was made manifest, Moses was Moses again. But when that weight was in Moses, this is going to crack the heads of Americans. Are you still with me? After, now remember, after the way it was made manifest, Moses was Moses again. But while that way it was in Moses to be given out, he, he was not a prophet. He was not just a minister. He, 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 he was God. So, yes, I'm trying to remember your list. He had the weight of the Lord for that age. Yeah. Nothing could touch him till that was over. Amen. He had that weight with him. Amen. I'm glad you are saying amen. Yes. Now, let's read the same quotation. Yeah but using the Moses of our day. Brother Bram said, a man will always glorify God what he has done and will glorify God what he's going to do but will fail to see what God is doing during his time. Moses had to wait. Now remember after the way was made manifest, Moses was Moses again. But while the way was in him to be given out, he was God. Everybody said, glory to God. <laughs> because why? It's a history. Yeah. Even Satan says, glory to God. Yeah. But when we bring it in current time, yeah. how many believe we are during the Exodus? Yeah. How many believe we have our Moses? Yeah. Uh, hallelujah. Yeah. Now, when you preach like this, then the Americans, they say, you make William Brenham God. We are, we are not dumb. The body is not a deity. But the deity was in the body. We don't worship the body, but we worship the deity that enjoyed the body. Even, even, when, even when the body is not around, we follow the deity. Because at that day, you shall know that I am in the Father, and the Father in, in me, and I is the deity. 
in the Father, deity in the Son, deity in you. Same quotation. Brother Brenham, ah, this one repeat after me. Brother Brenham hated the wind. Ah, you'll read better than that. Brother Brenham hated the wind. Now remember. After the way it was made manifest, Brother Brenham was Brother Brenham again. But while that way it was in him to be given out, Brother Brenham was God. Well, he was in Brother Brenham no more. He had the word of the Lord for this age. Nothing could touch him till that was over. He had that word with him. Now, right there, I say Pentecostal message believers are gonna the wings are gonna be broken. Now somebody said, Are you saying Brother Brenham is God? Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Are you look, Brother Brenham is not around. Yeah. Brother Brenham passed off the scene. Yeah. But as long as he was here yeah. and he stood behind the pulpit yeah. yeah. and wore a suit yeah. and a tie, yeah. it was not the Charles of Ella yeah. and Charles Brenham. Yeah. No, sir, he was more than that. Buddy, buddy, buddy. It, 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 you know, it is a, it, there is a fine line. Mm. If we worship him, yeah. then we make him antichrist. Yeah. But if we don't recognize the deity in him, yeah. we are still antichrist. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Brother Brenham was the deity, yeah. yet he was not the deity. Brother Brenham was God, but yet he was not God. Brother Brenham was the word, yet he was not the word. I, I'm not talking English here. If you are listening to English, it's contradictory. This is the heavenly language. The body William Brenham is not the deity. But what used to the body was the deity. Come on. The voice that you listen on the tapes is, although it sounds like William Brennan's voice, although it's the vocal part of William Brennan, but it is not William Brennan. Are you still with me? It is God using the voice. So we cannot say it's the voice of William Brennan. It was the voice of God in this generation. Are you elevating the man? No, sir. I'm elevating the man. God, that was in the man. I'm not worshiping the man. I worship the God that was in the man. I don't admire the man. I admire the God that was in the man. Are you still with me? Even when the man is no longer allowed, the God that was in the man is still on the sea. doing that. People are beginning to want to reduce William Brennan to their level. William Brennan was not your pastor. You love your pastor, appreciate your pastor, but your pastor will never be on the same right as William Brennan. And Exodus is not led by many people. It is led by one man indicated by the pillar of fire. A lot of things, a lot of things that you say are the pillar of fire in the message is just a reflection of this of the sun on your camera. Oh come on. If you want to prove it, take it to the FBI. There's only one pillar of fire that was analyzed by the pillar of fire by the FBI. And they said William Brennan, as long as you are alive, this, this, as long as there is human civilization, yeah. this will remain the supernatural in this generation. Yeah. They 
you kill up a fire that you have seen, it's just an excitement. You want to elevate your pastor. But there is one pillar of fire. I don't need a pillar of fire over my head. That was enough. I said that was enough. I don't need to be vindicated. I follow a vindicated message. I don't need to be vindicated. I follow a vindicated message. God, a donkey 
had nothing to do with the temple because it was a defiled animal. But here is a holy Messiah on an unholy creation going to a holy place. What happened? And they say, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Are you still with me? But when you go and check, he, the holy one, the worthy one, came on the unworthy creator and made it worthy to go to a holy place. William Brenham was a Gentile. And according to the laws of God, Gentile had nothing to do with the God of Israel. But on Sunset Mountain, the Holy One left the corridors of eternity and came on this creation and went to Jeffersonville and broke the seal. It, it was William Brennan that stood there and gave out the seal, but within him, it was not William Brennan. It was the land felt in William Brennan breaking the seal. They were written by God. Nobody could interpret them. Nobody could interpret them. Moses had to interpret them first. Moses had to interpret them first. Or Brother Branham had to interpret them first. Brother Branham had to interpret them. That's the reason he veiled his face. That's the reason he veiled Do you see it today? Here it is. Here it is. Brother Branham picks up, up his Bible. And the reason he picked up the Bible, there is a reason for that. Today I can't pick up the Bible. I'm going to pick up the book of the seals. He didn't want to stumble the people. But he says, we could pick it up. It was picked up on the table. We could pack it up. It was packed up in the spoken way. But everything else, but it's got to be revealed. You can't have it on the tape. Yeah. You can't have it in the book. Yeah. But it's got to be revealed. Yes. In order to reveal. Yes. In order to reveal today. Yes. William Brennan yes. must become God oh. to the people. Yes. Ah, Satan does not like it. Yes. Even some message believers don't like what they read. But whether you like it or not, it will never change the word of God. And Moses, as long as he had the word, he was God to the people during this time. And today, if William Brenham had the way, William Brenham was God to the people during our time. If you reject William Brenham, you reject God. A message believers cannot be here now. Where was the deity today? Yes. A man says to Sister Haiti, no. Sister Haiti, what, whatever you need, ask whatever you need. I will give it to you. And Sister Haiti said, I, I don't know what to ask. He says, Sister Haiti, ask a million dollars. I will speak it, it will materialize. As for the healing of your sister, I will speak it, she will walk out of the wheelchair. Sister Haiti tapped into the eternal as in the greatest desire. It is the salvation of my two boys. A man, sex born man stood up in that room and looked at a widow and said in the name of Jesus Christ, I Man. Give you your two boys eternal life. Come on, only God can give eternal life. Only God can give eternal life. It was not William Brennan. The body is not the deity. But the deity was in the body. But there is a promise. There is a promise. There will be I in you season. We are right in the season. Man. 
the TNT is now in the body. The body is not the TNT, but the TNT is in the body. Every man and every woman in the body is right now. Therefore, the creative power. If you receive a prophet, you receive the reward of a prophet. When William Brennan Chief, it was a demonstration.
the Lord's prayer. Yeah. Our Father, yeah. thou art in heaven. Yeah. That was then, yeah. not now. Yeah. Our Father, yeah. thou art in heaven. Brother Brother Brother's visa 
was restricted. He says, those Nazis, they were there sleeping by the hotel. He says, they were singing, what have we done? This was a popular song in the 50s, Sam Zenina. When our forefathers knew that the prophet is not coming back, the only man, the only white missionary that can hug a brother, African brother, with TB and say, God bless you. They came, but none of us came that close to us. He was not afraid of us. He had us. And said, that's my brother. That's my brother. And he says, only if I can get to them, I know they will receive it. It looks like they're the ones that will receive it. And I say, brother, brother, wherever you are, we have received it. Take it away from me. I love Brother Ed Biska. I love Brother Ed Biska. But if he leaves the message, I'm not following him. I love Brother Tony Riggin. But if he leaves, Baba. Whoever leaves, Baba. Even if Billy Paul can leave the message, I'm not going. My revelation does not come from them. It comes from the Almighty God. From the throne of God. Into my heart. In this atmosphere, there was an angel of the age, and there is an angel in the church, and you have your angel because it's an angelic ministry. But the Bible says, an angel behind the pulpit has power and authority than the angel in heaven. And the scripture says, whatever we bind here on earth shall be bounded. Whatever we set free here shall be set free. Heaven, heaven is waiting for us. Now, right now in this atmosphere, anything that you desire, no matter how long you are desiring, in this atmosphere, we want to give it to you so that you can go and testify about the God who delivers the result. No matter how impossible it is, we give it to you right now and say go and rejoice after the service and say I have received it. I have received it. Go and glorify God and say I have received it. This is the God the table. This is the God of the You have It's a thanksgiving. What yes. is thank you? Yes. Thank you. Yes. It is time. Yes. We accept it. We know you are here. We know you spoke it. We have it. God bless you, Dimari. God bless you. 2020. The year has been cleared for you. Go, go, and possess.
are worthy to be washed. You are worthy to be praised. My God, your people are healed. My God, your people are happy. My Father, Son, receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. As the gospel was going forth, we are free right away. We are going back. Glorify God. What a service, my God. What a day this is, my Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In the name of our Lord Jesus, we pray, Father, bless our pastor, Pastor Madiba, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Bless him, my God. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Continue to anoint him, Father. Use him like never before. Continue, Lord, revealing yourself to you, to him, O oh God, so that he carries on. May he never be weary, Lord, even when the pressure is upon him. We pray that you keep him father. Lord God, standing and carrying on. We pray for his family. We pray for his church. Father, we remember our pastor. Pastor my head, who's not here. We pray for him and God. Bless him, Father. Bless his ministry. We thank you. The, and the church of the living God shall say amen and amen. Give God a healthy hand of praise. Thank you. 